Hello, Brightsiders! Do you know what's hidden inside President Lincoln's head or at the Grand Station Terminal in New York? Today, I will reveal secrets about America's best-known landmarks you have never heard of. At the towering granite faces of Mount Rushmore, there's a hidden chamber inside President Lincoln's head. Built initially to hold essential documents from US history. The original plan was to create a much larger carving of several vital moments in American history. Unfortunately, it was far too complicated to be completed, and a hall of records was chosen instead. The construction stopped for many years with the room left unfinished. However, the project was revived in late 90s and they completed the chamber. The hidden room tells the US's story to future generations, a time capsule of American history. Sadly, tourists can't access the secret room as it's too difficult to reach. Anyone running through the Grand Central Terminal to get to their train on time knows that you work up quite a sweat. Some hidden Manhattanites are also working up a sweat somewhere else at the station. Few commuters realize that the Grand Central Terminal has been home to a tennis club for decades. It mainly serves local sports fans and corporate groups, so most people don't even know it exists. Vanderbilt Tennis Club is located on the station's upper levels and includes a full gymnasium, one full-sized indoor hard court, and even a junior court. While it might seem strange to join, the tennis and fitness club is quite popular among the locals. Most of the Supreme Court building is what you'd expect. Courtrooms, offices, and other generally dull workspaces. But that's until you get to the fifth floor. The building has a hidden basketball court, nicknamed the highest court in the land. This court is frequented by many of the building's workers. The room was initially designed as a storage space, but some people started turning it into a makeshift court to practice their tennis game. The trend took off and eventually it turned into a basketball court we know today. One of the most fascinating things about Niagara Falls is how naturally falling water is used to generate energy. The falls had slowed to a trickle or even stopped because of freezing and ice on several occasions. But a little known secret of the falls is that they can be turned off. And in 1969, the US Army Corps of Engineers did just that. To generate hydroelectric power, engineers developed ways to control the water's flow and fall to get the most out of it. All this water causes lots of erosion, so a facelift was planned. Unfortunately, the plan ended up being a bit of a failure. Meanwhile, this lady is no failure. She's an icon, a symbol of hope, and one of the most recognizable figures in the world. And she wears size 879 shoes. The Statue of Liberty is one of the most recognizable structures in the USA and in the world. In 1886, the monument wasn't just symbolic. For 16 years, the statue functioned as a fully operational lighthouse. Tourists at the US landmark can head to her crown for a stunning city view. But there used to be a room in the torch that could be accessed. Unfortunately, the ladder to the torch room was damaged by a shockwave from a nearby explosion, making the room inaccessible from 1916 until today. And it hasn't welcomed any visitors since. When the Brooklyn Bridge was first under construction, the engineers faced two significant problems. Well, the city didn't have enough money to pay for the whole project, that's a first and local vineries were refusing to relocate out of the path of the construction. The engineer managed to find a great solution to both problems. They helped finance the bridge by building wine cellars and renting them out to local businesses that needed the extra storage. 
That's a pretty genius approach to financing a bridge, actually. Today, the city of New York has taken ownership of the cellars and stripped the caverns of their original functionality. Now, they are primarily unused and full of maintenance equipment. Disneyland has fast become one of the most famous landmarks in America. Hardcore fans might think they know all of the park's secrets, but some might even surprise regular park goers. Hidden behind an unmarked door in Disneyland's New Orleans Square, you can find a posh, expensive restaurant called Club 33. If dining here is on your to-do list for your next vacation, you better start saving your money right now. The price to enter is a little expensive, costing around $25,000 to join, plus an annual fee of $12,000. If you feel wrong about never being a part of Club 33, maybe this will cheer you up. The waiting list can be up to 14 years long, and even Walt Disney himself never got to see it. The Golden Gate Bridge was once the world's longest suspension bridge. This eye-catching 1.7 mile long feat of engineering was completed in 1937. While many people know that the bridge is constantly being repainted, did you know that the paint color, which looks red, is called International Orange? Interestingly, the color was just a primer, but it turned out to be quite visible through the thick fog. The bridge's original color plan was suggested to be black with yellow stripes to maximize its visibility for passing ships. That's quite an ugly combination, I think. Most people who visit the Lincoln Memorial are in awe of the size and view of the reflecting pool. Some even spend all of their energy trying to find the famous typo carved into the walls. In the line, with high hope for the future, the sculptor mistakenly spell the future with an E instead of an F. Yet they tried filing it in, but the typo is still visible. Visiting the Gateway Arc to look at the city of St. Louis is like looking back in time. Most visitors don't know that the Arc also provides a glimpse back to its construction. Built to withstand earthquakes and high winds, the Arc can move and bend as much as 18 inches in high winds. The Ark is the tallest national monument in the United States, standing at 630 feet. Few people realize that it's 630 feet wide as well. That's impressive. The most peculiar thing about this spectacular construction isn't just its story, but that it also contains the stories of over 600,000 people from St. Louis, hidden underneath the deluxe Walford Astoria Hotel is a secluded platform called Track 61, part of the Grand Central Terminal. A railway car, believed to be designed for President Franklin D. Roosevelt, was left in the station for decades before being removed. This private train car was able to pull into the underground station where he could come and go unseen by the public. Unfortunately, the car turned out to be just for transporting parts of construction materials, which is not really as cool as transporting a president. The Liberty Bell features one of history's most famous repair jobs. Well, actually, lack of repair jobs. The bell was tested, split, and repaired when first received. And it just got worse from there. After nearly 90 years of use, a narrow crack formed in the Liberty Bell in 1840s. When the city of Philadelphia sought to repair the bell in 1846, metal workers made the crack even worse. Attempts were made to repair the existing rupture in the bell, but it was subsequently fractured beyond repair. After all of this, it had to be taken out of service for good. The bell we see today is just a replica. Not one person alive today has heard the authentic, original sound of the bell. That's all for today. And guys, remember, let's learn something new every day together with Brightside.